Hello everyone. Okay, today we are going to be focusing on how we can start a business in terms of tomato farming. My name is Phil and I'm going to be taking you through the nitty gritties of how best we can make a very profitable business when dealing with tomatoes. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, I want to start uh, growing tomatoes on a bigger scale. I was doing it like the usual backyard. I have a little garden and I want to expand and maybe start supplying. Okay. Do you have anything you can tell me in terms of how much land I need, what kind of seed variety to use, and the whole growing process? We can start on maybe, let's say, land. What oh. do I need there? Okay, uh, actually, let's say for a hectare. Ningem Shida seed in Okwana, something like uh, 23 to 24,000 plants. 23 to 24,000 plants on one hectare? Yes. Okay. So it depends by the variety you need, mm -hmm. but there are varieties which are suitable for, uh, for open field mm -hmm. and which are suitable for, uh, for greenhouse. Okay, great. So the best ones are those ones we can use, uh, we can use uh, for open field since you want it for a really large open scale. Open field, yes. okay. By open field, that means we're relying on natural rain and maybe a borehole system? Yeah, actually you have to supplement the, the, by irrigation. They need a lot of water? Yeah, they okay. need water. Yeah. Okay, so okay. do you have the different types of varieties I can use for open field? Yes. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, can you venue, use Chibli. Okay, can you show us please? Yeah. Let me check one. Okay. Yes. This one is one of the best ones. Oh, it's okay. uh, Chibli. Okay. And I've got uh, this one, which is uh, Tingeru 97, can do. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And how many seeds do I put per, per, per whole? planting station? Yes. Uh, you just need to put one. One seed per planting station? Yes. And how much, how far apart? Uh, it depends by the management, but basically you apply something like uh, 25 by, by 75 to, to 90. Okay. Yeah. And tomatoes are also creepers. They gl grow on something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They are not creepers, but you have to, to trellis. Oh, yeah. to trellis them. Yes. Okay, so they need support in order yeah, for yeah. them. They, mm -hmm. It's not healthy for them to just grow on the ground? No, 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 no. Okay. Actually, they are by a lot of uh, pests and diseases. So the higher they grow, the less they are uh, to the ground, yes. the less pests and diseases we'll have. Yeah. Okay. So what's the best method you feel we can trellis them? Uh, you can use uh, something like uh, the trellising twine. Let me show you. Trellising twine or mukwatsakushan sawaya chai chai yoku trellis. Okay. Yeah. So if we're using twine, we have to change it every season? Or we can reuse uh, it? You just infumigate it, then you, you reuse, reuse it. it. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Okay, so each each plant has to go in its own trellis. Yeah, actually these varieties, they differ. Some are determinant and some are non-determinant. What so does that mean? Pane anore ba anotikana atanga ukita marua, acha kure kenda mdenga. Then pano anora mba acha vest up to mm. nine months, achingo kura. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so anora mba achingo yenda up to nine months, achingo kura. Does that mean they yield much more? Yeah, they yield much more, but those ones are best in greenhouse. Best in greenhouse? Yeah, because it might be very difficult to trellis one hectare. Which All the way up. Are, yeah, oh, okay. something like 1.5 meters. Right? Oh, yeah. fair enough. Okay, great. Okay, so we have the space of land, we have the, the seed. Yes, the different variety of seeds. Yes. We need to trellis them. In terms of water consumption, do you know how much water we need to like give them time of day? Yeah, actually you have to maintain uh, the, uh, your source onto field capacity. Mm. And if it comes to moisture, then it now depends. Mm. rain season, mm. and it mm. off rain season. Okay. Can mm. rain season, uh, your supplementary of water it will be less than in out of season. Okay. Yeah. Do we so then ground has to always remain moist or uh, not necessarily, not but necessarily. you have to maintain a okay. certain amount of moisture. Okay. Yeah. 
And do we just plant these directly into the ground or do we start with seedlings? What's the best way to work with Actually, you have to start with the seedlings. Okay. You, you buy your uh, seed trays, Ooh, perfect. you see, mm -hmm. so that you, you, you just put one seed in a, in a, in a pot. Okay. Yeah. So how long does it take for it to like become a seedling that's strong enough to survive in the ground on two its own? Two to three weeks. Three to three weeks, actually. Three weeks. Yeah. Okay. And the seedlings, do we grow them like in shade or they fine with the sun? How, how no. do you germinate a seed? Actually, if you put uh, the media, mm -hmm. maybe it's the pine bark, okay. then you put the seed. And it so it's better to use pine bark instead of soil? Yeah, okay. pine bark, which is mixed with SSP. Okay. Yeah. Or, and where man. do we get that? We have it here. Right oh, here can I see, shop. please? Yeah. Mm. Okay. So we have our pine bag. So you have okay. to fill it in this uh, post at both okay. sides. So my pets are the same. Then we have seed. Seed data to us in seven days time. Ring ready. Ramera. Then two uh, two weeks. Zogudi. Zogukura. Okay. Then you have to play around with the insect size and the fungus size to control the pest. While it's disease. still a seedling. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And we have to make sure that our seed is very healthy mm. because everything starts with a good seed. Okay. Yeah. If you fail this the seed bed, we've already failed the pro, the production. The whole pro okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put my pine bark in. I put it down. Yes, yeah. seed. Seed. So seed ningara just yeah, above then, then mm. Yeah, then you just spring a okay. lot of Okay, and we make sure it stays moist. Yes. Okay, so it's preferably not directly in the sun, not in yeah, direct yeah, sun. Yeah, 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 we have to put it in the shade. Okay. Mm. At what weeks do we start spraying it? Uh, soon after, gener after germination. I, I read, for my seeds at home, I was doing it on a small scale, mm. but they were saying something about iron because they would start going yellow. It's still alive, but it looked like it was like having some sort of a deficiency of something. And they were saying that's part of how tomatoes grow and that's when you're supposed to put, are those insecticides and stuff you're talking about? Yeah, okay. I was going to, 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 to talk about that later. Oh, later, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this this is the only tray we don't transfer into another tray. Uh, actually, we, this is the only tray you can use. Then we, when we'll be transferring it, we'll be putting the permanent places. Oh, there's no yeah. need to transfer into anything else? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, great. Okay, so after we've put them in the ground now, yeah. can you walk us through what the process is now in terms of weekly maybe, in terms of like um, what you're spraying at what stage, as you grow through the tele trellis, at what's how you're supposed to like tie it on and things like that. So, apadachino needs a padomas and itiga from the day of transplanting. Munono shika mochi jikara domas rain ne compound D C that's 623 23 or 628 23. That's like a fertilizer for the soil. Yes. Okay. It's for basal application. Then much garana oyo, which is about 30 grams okay. per, per planting station. Oh. Yes. So mapeza is also you have to spray something for uh, for nematodes and mm. something for camp twins. Mm. So you have to spray something like uh, oxamio or onema cure mm. or blockade. Mm. You know no bata if redu kutiri sabat wanichi, ri ri urai ma nematodes mm. aninga arimu. Mm. Then tapeza ipaboto spray a lambda or something which has got uh, lambda cyclinase and active ingredients to mm. control uh, cutworms. Mm. Yes. Then todi tonya so diriza do maseredu. Ipa poti nge ta kuta srauti do maseredu in uh, something like seven to uh, to seven days ring ra right. So that's that's yeah. the end part of day seven. That's the first week. This first week, yeah. Okay. Maybe can we do like a cost rundown of that much? Okay. As per, I think we need a bigger paper. <laughs> okay, good. Sorry, Kondoro. can we have a bigger paper, bigger please? Bigger paper. So those are your issues also. But make sure pamuru kuri visa apa pamene manya sukuri adena and itiga so that uh pamuru visa pa seed place pa seed uh, tray and itiga muzi yini ni saku pema ni place are affect ni etro to transplanting shock and itiga re ranya sukuri adu you know because ni rechinda pa new environment so the seed must be well hardened. 
Okay. Yeah. And that basically means that you take it with the the substances of yeah, the, the tray. Media. You're not taking just the plant out. Yeah, okay. you take with the Great. media. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, to come here, okay, Okay, so you're saying uh, per hectare you need something like uh, okay. yeah, like uh, hectare, mm -hmm. like twelve uh, to eighteen bags of compound C, right? Okay. Compound C. Then they said you need something like uh, uh, and how much is that? Do you have it? Yes, I do have. Okay. It's going for forty-five dollars per per bag. Okay. So multiply by eighteen. So it's something like eight hundred and ten dollars okay. for the fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Yes, for the chemicals we have got uh, uh, oxamil, which is going for eighteen dollars per liter. Then you need something like uh, four to eight liters, depending on the previous crop. Kutipapane crop EP. If pangapane a crop of the same family with the tomatoes, mm. you have to apply more, like tomatoes, like mm. uh, potatoes or mm. tobacco, oh, or okay. uh, solar nashe crops. Okay. They are of the same family, so if apply more. Mm. So this is to make sure the soil still has enough nutrients and stuff. No, to uh, size for the nematodes oh, okay. and the pest and diseases. Oh, okay. They share the same diseases and oh. the same pest. Yeah. So let's say uh, 18 times or. Uh, times four, that's something like 72. Mm. Then for lambda, just one liter I can do, so it's $10. Then the seed itself mm. is costing, you need something uh, 23,000 to 23 to 24,000 plants, depending on the spacing. Okay. So it will range something like 350 of chibli. The one 350, okay. Can I see the chibli one again? Yes, okay. this one. So how much is this? Like how many seeds are in here? Uh, it's written, this has got uh, 2,500 two, oh, two, two two seeds. 500 seeds. Yes. So we said how many plants are we trying to go for? Uh, 2.4. Uh, 24,000 plants. 24,000 plants. So yes. we need quite a few ba few of these. Yes. How much is one of these? That one is going for 35. This is 35? Yes. Okay. So that's 350. Just okay. on rough, rough scratch. Mm, so times For two. on planting, let us calculate. Then we'll see uh, the cost. Okay. So... 350 plus 10 mm. plus uh, 72 plus 8, 10. So it's like $1,242 okay. just for planting. Just for planting? Yes. Okay. Then the labor itself, uh, is something costs you something like, uh, like uh, 210. Mm. Yeah. So yes, you referring to planting labor? Yes. Okay. And when do we start needing to have things like the medium we're going to use for trellises on standby? Okay. Actually, it depends by the variety now. Mm. Uh, but actually, in uh, something like uh, uh, eight weeks, going onwards, we'll be trellising time and again. What do we hold the twine with? Munuche sama, vangwane sama mama matanda cheo. Vangwane kwa saki sa simbi. Zawane kwa kadi waka isa. Kuti zikwanse kwa oda. So haku dependa na kuti monoshan sa trellising method ipi. Okay, and whatever affordability you can... Okay, great. Okay. Saka tatara ni... Okay, the next... So, on day 18, do pama kwa apply amoni ya mune treti enyo. And jika amoni ya mune treti enyo, muno kwa saka apply ya. It in application rate of 5 grams per plant. Yeah, so muno kwa saka bulisa something like 200-250 bags for the first application. And jika, then you have to manage your insect size and your fungus size well. Some of the insect size are different, have got different names, but have of the same... Iraq more mm. or a mode of action. Okay. So you may think that you are rotating the chemicals, mm. but which is some shonga one. Unima mm. different names. Mm. So the farm manager and fanonga chiziva mshonga, kutum shonga uyu, uni active ingredient ripi, mm. then urimu Iraq more ripi, mm. urimu chemical group ripi, mm. so that you can get rid of your pests and diseases. Mm. So for my pests and diseases, tine mishonga ya kaita sana nemesis, ya kaita sana spike extra, ya na blast super, andidika, ndue munu kwa sakutandu kusprea, 
and it's just for prevention. Okay. 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 Let me show you the stuff. Okay. Yeah. Just for, for prevention. And it we ma white fly, even for tuta absoluta. One of the pest runeza muchi mu tomato production. And the tapeza kushansa e to no fan out garatini mum shonga. In a simba, you know raya tuta. And it get us on a belt. Uh, let me show you belt, belt, belt. Where is belt now? Edipa belt. Oh, sorry, sorry. Can a belt, can out an umbligo, and did it again? A dom shongayacho in Ocean Disco can out to an acoragen, can out to an astuart, you are now to an index carb, and did it again. Dom shonga in Ocean so controller tutor, and did it again. Then my mark one of my application rates are case for a mamma, which did him which is shandisa. Then come a funk sides. Tinema preventative funk sides. I get us on a copper oxchloride, tinao and a mango zeb as well. Let me show you. Okay. Uh, okay. And it do at any shanty sarfoma is my preventative funk mm. size. Mm. Then tinana copper hydroxide in the advantage you could in the acrovani bacteria. Monona matomatis agua guntia ganga articure and diga. One ara kungo wilta. Ukaridzura natural affect and natural rumor and diga. But was one. Rato birara rato dona pass. Mm -hmm. So it means ni graphic to ni say the bacteria who take an outvana mosaic virus. Mm -hmm. So you have to use mishonga ya keta sana uh, kumia kana kushandi sana na copper hydroxide mm -hmm. for the prevention. Mm -hmm. Then for the curative ni ma kushandi sana juzi ya keta sana antraco kana kutivana amista top wana othello top wana evito t. Mm -hmm. I've got everything in here. So he says ni zuchidi zuche zuche kubatsirai like. So, and it does a mufana garamina so easy. She says, Ning Zagadi, so far now gets zipo is tall. Then Tita could make a short do master red rakubuda, Zakanak. Then for my fertilizer management, a gumirapa AN can arrive towards flowering. That's where you can uh, start applying a uh, potassium nitrate mm. or on a best bloom or any, any uh, fertilizer in any high rate of potassium. Okay. Okay, so after applying uh, potassium nitrate mm. or anything that has got a uh, high rate of potassium, do patrols end up calcium nitrate. Mm. Calcium nitrate in the October Gazra quality, ye mm. fruit trade. Mm. Let's say you go harvest, then you find the market in Yakadi, Yakamboti Dakwe, Nukasam mm. Boyam Bomastoka, Nukasak last half even for 14 days, Kanakaya so good calcium. Then tap it as also, the Maseriduna Kanaka just apply 150 kgs per, per hectare. Uh, by 14 days, do you take it off the plant to the green? No. Okay. Like a champagne color towards yes, like yes, a pink, yeah. pink going into yeah. the. Okay. Yeah. Then it will last you 14 days before it turns red and yeah. starts. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Mm. Okay. So, with everything we've just spoken now, Taudabuta costing, you have to one hectare. Okay. Where do we go from there in terms of all this stuff? How much each product will cost us, and then we're going to start talking about profitability of it all. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Sure. Actually, potato and beta fertilizer, my fertilizers, right? Yes. And uh, some of the planting uh, uh, chemicals. Mm -hmm. So, tika wana kuti bill red uno kwa sauti shika pa one point two four two, right? Okay. Then, mishonga i yes i tinga chasa for my insecticides anodi wa ipapa to build. Uh, nana nemesis, nana uh, metalax, mm. nemesis, uh, so blast super, then a uh, collagen, gen, uh, then a uh, Stuart mm -hmm. and a hurricane. Then this one is going for uh, 150, then this one is going for uh, 30. This one uh, is going for 20, mm. sorry. Then this one is going for 150 as well. This one is going for 75. Mm -hmm. Then this one 120. Okay. So, so this is for insects. Yes. Yes. This is just for one hectare. Yeah, for one hectare for the. We won't have leftovers and 
this is enough. I don't have to buy no, two no, of anything. No. Uh, uh, actually, it depends by the variety, but basically, you into your katoni or something like that. Right. So, to that 150, right? Let us just do a quick one plus 30. Okay, sorry. Uh, so 150 mm -hmm. plus uh, 30 plus uh, uh, 120 plus 150 plus 75 plus uh, 120. So it's something like uh, 645. This oh. is for insect side. Okay. Then uh, for fungi sides, uh, metalax plus mango zip. Uh, this one is going for 14 dollars times five 14 times five the 70 dollars then uh sky sky is going for uh 25 times 375 then you go for uh Odin 35 35 times four that's 140 then you need a uh, uh, vito tea a Vito T is going for 200. Mm -hmm. Then Amistad Top, 200. Okay. So let us do the rough calculation 70 plus uh, 75 plus 140 plus uh, 400 mm -hmm. equals to uh, 685. That's for fun size. Okay. And, uh, both curative and uh, and preventative. Okay. So plus labor, they say labor uh, for the whole production. Let us just see, assume is something like uh, let's just see, say one thousand. Okay. One thousand plus one thousand. Irrigation, electricity, and miscellaneous. Just we we'll just add. Uh, mm. Yeah. Mm. Some are fixed cost. So. 1,000 plus uh, 1,240 plus uh, 645 plus 680. Uh, um, so it's something like 3,572. Mm. It's a total cost. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we are we are saying uh, then we've got uh, so our cost uh, mm -hmm. something like three thousand five hundred seventy two. Mm -hmm. Then we've got uh, twenty four thousand plans. Yes. Twenty four thousand plans, and this one has got a yield potential of mm -hmm. something like a uh, hundred tons per hectare. Oh, okay. Yes, 100 tons per hectare. Mm. So, let's say 20 kg. Mm. 20 kg is going for something like $12. Okay. At a uh, local market at mm. Mbari. Mm. $12 for 20 kg. Mm. So, in a ton we've got, uh, I mean, we, all right, 1,000. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 1,000. That's a ton, mm. yeah, divided by 20. So we've got 50, 50 by 12. Okay. By 12, that's something like 600. And we've got times 100. What's the 100 for? 100 tons per hectare. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's something like, uh, 60,000. 60,000 60, is what I'm making yeah. on a hectare so, with just tomatoes. Yes. Oh. So if you are say 60,000 and the cost are something like uh, 3,000, which minus 3,572. So your profit is 5, 6, 7, uh, 2, 8. Then the return per dollar. Uh, yes. So our profit is something like uh, 
basically almost 57,000. Yes, 57,000. Mm. 57,000. Then our return per dollar is double plus. That's amazing. Yes. Why isn't everyone doing tomatoes? <laughs> Is it so, why isn't everyone doing tomatoes? Is it because it's like uh, yeah, a lot of people they undermine, why? they just say tomato dollar for two, dollar for what, but uh, they don't know the profit which is That's in tomato. Good money. Yeah. yeah, so a lot of people prefer to do it in greenhouse or in open field, but yeah, the best okay. if you do it. So, how, how much does this vary once you're now doing it in a greenhouse? Does do I make more? Because now we spoke about uh, on an open field, yeah. I can only take the plants to a certain extent. But in a greenhouse, I can take them longer, which I'm assuming means I get more fruit. Yeah. Actually, when we try a greenhouse, we try to get sometimes we are going to have to off season. Mm. Yeah, and it is to manage. And there are some varieties we are no kumiza kuro ane zuruere. So we are going to proper management in the greenhouse. But if you're doing it off-season, that means the price also goes up, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. They will be targeting uh, a, a lot of profits. Mm. Mm. So, mm, this is interesting. Mm. Okay, so when it comes to importing and exporting, mm. is there a certain time where we're supposed to, like, cut off in terms of what we're doing, in terms of pesticides and all those other costs? Okay, uh, if it comes to, to uh, exporting, mm. uh, standards, Emma products are not here, are export. Mm. Some of them are residuals, chemicals, mm. or residual fertilizers. So basically, we have some organic fertilizers, mm. like Muno uh, Mutine Yumson and Tine Bet Guano. Organic fertilizers. So, we are going to talk about this. Don't Can you give me one? All right. We are going to talk about my products. I am going pure organic. Even if you are targeting, uh, let's say, the market like Unana Holiday Inn yes. or bigger hotels, we are going to foreigners. Mm. Some of them, they are, they don't want my 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 products. I can use my chemicals. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One of organic. That's pure organic. So, I have got this one. You see, uh, it's a uh, Yumson. Mm. Uh, this one is the, 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 the Basa one. So I'm got... assuming, can I walk with a... okay, how much are these? Uh, this one is going for uh, $45 and mm. it covers one hectare. And, and this one is going for $25 and it covers, it covers one hectare as Okay, well. this is not bad. This yeah. is actually not bad. Yeah. So I'm assuming Kana, once it's organic, it will also fetch a higher price in terms of selling it. Yeah, even the taste. Yes. Something which is organic uh, is very... Uh, it tastes palatable. better. Yeah. yeah. In that case, if I am a farmer who yeah. is working with synthetic stuff, so to speak, yeah. how do I treat my soil and stuff for me to start producing organic food? I just introduced uh, organic stuff. Okay, so mm. just from the straight, this will take care of everything. Yeah. Oh, that's mm. amazing. So, so I then my mission as well. I carry. Upon me, my want to taste. Could I go now to my fruits? I go and get any mission. I can attend my residual chemicals. I can attend any my residual so chemicals. Uh, actually, I am attended for export. Mm. So basically, you have to manage your chemicals very well mm -hmm. and to manage your fertilizers very well. And how do we go about that then for the local market? Like, do I stop putting all this stuff like a week before I take them to market? No. Tinema chemicals, I get us an ambligo. Let's say my tomatoes, I need it about three days with the draw period. Okay. Yeah. So let's say you are, you are going to export your stuff uh, in, in seven days to come. Mm. You just apply this one. In three days time, it will Okay. Be. Does that apply for locally as well? Like, do that when they sound bad? I don't know. No, Do that no. somebody, I can just take it as is. Yeah, actually, that's the, the, the problem. The market, they don't taste the product before they buy. Oh, yeah. mm. okay. Okay, in terms of... This touches a bit on variety and also, I don't know if you know. Mm. Uh, but in terms of these are just natural, the usual size tomatoes, yes? Yeah. Okay. What happens now if... Do cherry tomatoes, to say, fetch a higher price? Yeah, actually, so I could depend on what you want to do, but mm. the cherry tomato uh, in our local market, I know you could try to get a market, but mm. 
kana uchizo no supplier lese kuna na bone marsh uh, okay. holiday inn um, rainbow towers in this town so you're saying that you're better off with normal tomatoes rather yes. than cherry tomatoes yes, yes. so cherry tomatoes will be better if you have like an exporting country yes or? yes yes okay yeah. Because ours are mainly used for cooking, not for salads and yes, stuff. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Okay, from everything you're telling me, tomatoes sound like, uh, I mean, like really good money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially for one hectare. Mm. So my question is, how come we don't have more farmers doing tomatoes? Because I've noticed even when I've been asking in supermarkets, everyone's telling me that they're importing this, importing that. Why are we importing instead of doing it ourselves? What are the pros and cons? What, what's going on? Uh, actually, Chinet can talk to one, mm. lack of knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, two, some of them, uh, most of our farmers, uh, they are cell phone farmers. Mm. So one of those random losses, mm. like you could earn a chingo to You see, these chemicals are so expensive. Yes. Let's say you invest three thousand. Yeah. And the guy at the farm is stealing the chemicals. Mm. So you run a very big loss. Okay. And I also bought a foot to Marimachi, Madomasi. So mismanagement, Madomasi. Mm. Then Madomasi, I chose a carry another a lot of labor. The labor yeah. yeah. Pruning, spraying, um, trellising, mm. and a lot. Yeah. So it was also snow concerns. I got itchy. When we started to marry, ma. Then the part time we are ninge aka flood. Aninge ani marishoma. So sometimes we marry. When we don't marry, ma part time we are ninge chiri mo ane when we kawand. So the prices will be very very low. So. That's why Marima Chimu is changing. Vasinga di, Vasinga fani kumu, Vasinga fari kumu Marima. But you can see that now, because you know, we are going to be able to get wind part agro chemicals. They can get uh, my advice. So, because Marima say off season, we have got something which we call frost blanket. You could like now we are in winter, and this guy, we no kwanza kuno spray. Then the frost blanket will repel. The, 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 the frost. Yes. Then talk about my proper management. Then we maximize my profits. This is amazing information. Maybe there's something I forgot to tell our viewers. Muni mm -hmm. phone number yeah, I'm to to get in touch with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's also true that we are wind part agrochemicals mm. and they got no one up on corner second in South Avenue mm. or corner Robson Manika in Fifth Street. Okay, that's in Arari. Yeah, that's in Arari. Mm. And our contact number is 0771 366 208. And the other one is 0772 5256966. Okay. So don't forget to put in the country code. So it's plus two six three seven seven. Then you continue with your digits. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any other uh, what's called locations like in Zimbabwe? Um, no. No. Not yet, strictly yeah. in that area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like you guys are gonna have to make the trip. Okay. Um. Well, this has been very informative, actually, and I clearly was wasting my time doing cherry tomatoes. Now I know better. <laughs> Thank you. Like you said, education is key.